Victor. I'm from SUNY Geneseo. Uh, I'm one of the uh, New York City admissions counselors. Hi guys, uh, can you guys hear me okay now? Yes, you're fine. Great. Um, uh, I'm going back, back and forth with muted. So um, I'm a New York City admissions counselor here for SUNY Geneseo. Um, I also have my colleagues, um, Suzanne Miller, uh, as well as a student, um, Kelly. I, they're gonna introduce themselves very quickly before we move on. Hi there, everybody. My name is Suzanne Miller. I'm an admissions counselor with SUNY Geneseo. I'm based on Long Island, uh, but work full time for our beautiful and wonderful school. And I'm excited that you've taken time out of today to spend a little time with us. Hi, everybody. My name is Kelly Salpeter. I am a co freshman communication major and environmental studies minor from Roslyn, New York. Uh, that is on Long Island uh, around the North Shore. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, so we're going to actually get started. We're going to watch a, a quick video um, to find out why there is no place like here. Welcome to Geneseo. We want to show you why there's no place like here. Let's go. Did you know Geneseo has over 200 clubs and organizations to be a part of? Geneseo is your gateway to the world. With over 600 programs in 65 countries, nearly half of our students will study abroad. For good eats, boutique shopping, movies, and festivals, Main Street is literally a step off campus. With over 60 shops and cafes, which employ over 100 students every semester, there's something for everyone. Thank you. Come explore. Just five miles from campus is one of the nation's best state parks. At Geneseo, we give back. Every year, we average over 200,000 community service hours. There's no shortage of ways to give back. With small classes, students have the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with professors on significant research. Our dining services are ranked within the top 10 in the country. And we even have a food truck. Our innovative gold workshops give students the tools to become successful leaders. Join your classmates and cheer on the nights at one of the many athletic events here on campus. Go Knights! And now you know why well, there's no place like here. Awesome. So uh, just kind of as a brief uh, introduction, actually, when we come when we're talking about this uh, presentation, you're going to see a lot of pictures. They are of the campus. So you guys kind of get a little bit of a campus tour. So here we are on our college green. Um, as far as a quick uh, at a glance for Geneseo, um, we are located in the Finger Lakes region of New York State. Uh, I've put a map onto the right side so you guys can take a look where that blue star right underneath that 390 interstate. So if you guys wanna take a look at where you are in relation to that, uh, some of the cities that we have up there, uh, we give approximate driving uh, travel time. So um, I'm from New York City. Um, it takes about five hours to drive from New York City to Geneseo. Uh, if you're from, you know, let's say uh, Long Island, it could take up to six hours, Buffalo one and one plus hours. So Find yourself on the map. Uh, hopefully we're not too far away. Uh, as far as where we are, uh, like I said, we are in the Finger Lakes region of New York State. We have a population of around 5,500 students. Uh, we are also one of 64 SUNY schools. Um, if you're looking at uh, SUNY school in general, uh, we have a 40 to 60 male to female ratio and a one to 17 student to faculty ratio. Um, we're kind of, we kind of fit the small liberal arts college niche of the SUNY system. Uh, I, I also did not mention I'm an alumni of the school and that's kind of the reason why I chose Geneseo. Um, we're pretty unique in the fact that we are uh, considered a small liberal arts college within the SUNY system and that's something that we really pride ourselves in. Uh, below you'll kind of see some of our awards and rankings, um, which uh, some, those are some things that we're very proud of, you know, being one of the 
uh, the top 100 public college, um, producing uh, the third highest amount of Fulbright scholars. Um, and that is correct, actually, third highest in the entire nation, um, and listed in Princeton Review's best college list. So this picture actually is of our integrated science center. Um, I don't know if you can tell by the name, but students uh, study science in there. Um, it's actually uh, recently uh, built in the early to late 2000s. Um, so uh, some of the equipment is pretty up to date and state of the art for uh, what we have. Uh, as far as our academics go at, at Geneseo, we have 50 undergraduate degree programs. And later on, um, I have a whole list of majors and minors that you can take a look at. So that, and that includes the 20 interdisciplinary minors, meaning that students uh, who want to be, be a part of this interdisciplinary minor can take classes in various departments around campus. Um, around, almost 50% of our students at Geneseo have a double major uh, in, you know, and or both a major and a minor. Um, and 59% of graduates completed internships. That's pretty important, especially when we look at um, when after afterwards, when you leave Geneseo and become a uh, su successful um, uh, member of society, they say that um, internships actually help you with your jobs. So uh, this is actually something that is important to us. Our median class size is around 24 students, and that kind of lends itself to what I was talking about earlier about the one to 17 student faculty ratio. Um, that way you're not inundated with students in a large lecture hall. You're able to get to know your professors. And um, you know, some of our, well, our, Kelly will actually probably, will probably share, um, that might be a good reason to come to Geneseo is the size that we are. Um, we, 90% of our faculty hold a PhD or another terminal degree, and we have zero classes taught by teaching assistants. Um, that's something that we also pride ourselves in. Um, you know, you will be able to have professors being able to uh, help you along the way rather than someone who um, may not be as qualified as you know the 90 percent of the faculty that we have on campus so uh, these are a list of all of our majors and our interdisciplinary minors i've included some of the pre-professional programs that we offer at geneseo uh, such as pre-law pre-med um, as well as some co-op programs uh, that includes this three plus two engineering program or our three plus three program of uh, doctorate of Physical Therapy. Um, if you guys would like, I'm leaving this up here. Uh, you guys can screenshot this for your own information. Um, and if you have any que specific questions, you can also throw them in the Q&A box about a certain major and Suzanne will actually help you uh, and answer some of those questions. Um, so I'll, give, I'll take five seconds if you guys need to screenshot that and then we'll move on. Awesome. So this is a picture of our Sturgis Quad at Geneseo. Uh, the Sturgis is kind of a, a good middle ground where students are able to uh, walk around campus. It's literally the middle of our academic, in the middle of our academic building. So uh, you, it's, chances are you'll run into someone familiar in the area. Um, as far as clubs and activities goes at Geneseo, you have to have a student life, right? Uh, you're not uh, studying is important, but on top of that, you know you'll be living on campus. So um, we have we boast over 200 different clubs and organizations and for a school our size um, that's actually uh, above average um, some of our other SUNY institutions may have a little bit more students in this, as far as student population wise and we'll probably have around 150 to 200 clubs so for our size um, we offer a great variety um, we have 20 varsity division three sports teams um, we have a Geneseo late night uh, events those are for students uh, for uh, uh, events planned by our student life department uh, that uh, that are for weeknights. Um, those include, you know, various different things. I remember as a student, uh, they had fun different different fun events like Segway racing or zip lining, um, and those are planned. I believe over four thousand different events, uh, for that four hundred different events are planned year round for students. Um, 
as far as upstate escapes goes, um, our student life also department also plans uh, different trips outside of just Geneseo for students to take part in. That includes like Broadway shows in Rochester, or going to Syracuse for a Syracuse basketball game, or watching uh, the Buffalo Bills play football. Um, those are various different, uh, varying different uh, types of uh, activities for students outside of just Geneseo. Um, and as you can see below, Rochester is not too far away. Some of our area attractions uh, are, are Rochester. There's a bus that will take you directly from Geneseo to Rochester. It'll take around half an hour. We're about an hour from Buffalo, two hours from Syracuse. So um, we like to have uh, some of the local cities that are involved um, be a part of the experience here at Geneseo. Uh, we also have local nature. If you enjoy nature, uh, I do. And as you can see from the photos, I love uh, just the greenery and all the colors of Geneseo. So you can also enjoy the colors at Letchworth State Park and Canisius Lake. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, let Kelly uh, talk right now and kind of it, as a student, from a student perspective, just explain um, her time at Geneseo currently and uh, what, what are things she's involved with because not every student um, is the same. So Kelly, take it away. Hey everybody, I'm Kelly. So uh, as Victor said, I'm just going to be going over um, my life at Geneseo and a lot of the things I'm interested in. So uh, first off, I'd like to start by saying that I took it upon myself when I got to Geneseo to find activities and clubs that I enjoyed. I signed up for a million things and then I um, went down to what I really enjoyed doing. So as of now, I'm currently a tour guide at Geneseo. Um, I'm also the treasurer of club softball, so I'm also on club softball. Um, additionally, I'm going to be an orientation leader this summer for new uh, students coming to Geneseo. I'm also a member of YCC, which is Young, Young Children's Council, which means that we can have, um, for example, pen pals with uh, elementary students from the Geneseo Elementary School, which is just a great way um, to experience, uh, to have that kind of experience. A lot of education majors uh, like to do that, but um, communication major and I still just like to do it for fun. Um, I also play intramural volleyball and intramural dodgeball. Now I decided to go intramural instead of um, club just because I'm not the best when it comes to these types of sports. However, I do still like to have fun with it and um, hang out with my friends while playing them. So that's why I decided to take the path of less commitment opposed to a varsity or club team. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Um, as a student, I think there's not every student is the same. Um, I mean, I also was a tour guide at Geneseo, but I also, um, you know, also enjoyed playing sports, but, you know, taking part in uh, watching the the Ice Knights, which is one of our sports teams. Um, I also did an internship. So we have varying different um, experiences. Um, with that said, uh, I just wanted to point out here, this is a picture of our main street at Geneseo. Um, literally, if you are thinking about, if you don't know much about Geneseo, if, you're not, if you haven't visited campus, um, behind that, uh, well, this is our, our fountain, um, but behind the cookies and sub shop is literally our campus. So uh, we are so close, we are towns, the town of Geneseo and the campus are uh, pretty intertwined. Um, and we're pretty proud of the fact that you have this uh, small, uh, college town feel, which is something that I think um, is unique to our school uh, within the SUNY system. Um, so just a little, I want to talk a little bit about Geneseo, New York. Um, actually, this picture here on the right hand side, uh, it is from a TV show. You can probably see the Hulu screen cap on the bottom right hand corner. Um, it's actually from a TV show called Four Weddings and a Funeral. Um, they used actually our, our Main Street as a depiction of kind of like a uh, Main Street, uh, small town America. Um, they said it was in Jersey, but that is literally, um, uh, uh, SUNY, that, that's literally Geneseo. You can notice on the, in the background of my, of this slide on the right hand, on the left hand side, there's Cookie Sub Shop. And in the picture, that blue building is Cookie Sub Shop. So, um, uh, sorry, Aunt Cookies. Um, Sub shop, so you can see that this is actually this is actually Geneseo, and we represent small town America, and I think that's something that's unique to where we are. Um, we are recognized as a national historic landmark, one of 24 in the country. Um, we have a variety of different dining options, for example, like and cookie sub shop, but um, we also have a Geneseo family restaurant. Um, I really enjoyed my uh, eating there. We have uh, 
uh, different diners. Um, we have a, Pol a Polish restaurant on, uh, on Main Street. Um, we also have various cafes, bakeries, sandwich shops. So um, there are, there's a lot of different local dining options at Geneseo. Um, if you drive or if you take a bus, it literally will take 10, five to five minutes, literally from if you're driving ten, five to 10 minutes, you know, uh, behind the school, we have a local Wegmans, which is a grocery store for all of you guys who um, are uh, fortunate to uh, fortunate to experience Wegmans is a great grocery store and I they just put one in in New York City in Brooklyn so um, hopefully you guys can make it to a Wegmans it's a life-changing experience um, we also have a local Walmart so uh, even though we are in you know a smaller town it doesn't mean that you are not able to uh, have access to fresh food or amenities and things like that um, we have a very close-knit community, and Geneseo enjoys uh, a good relationship from, with uh, the town, and that includes volunteerism. So um, on the bottom, I talk about Knight's first day of service, and that's an opportunity for freshmen to uh, volunteer, uh, and they're able to volunteer in the, in the, the neighboring uh, county or within the county or within the town of Geneseo. Um, Livingston Cares also is an organization at Geneseo um, devoted to service in the area or um, we also provide different trips, uh, relief trips um, such as uh, to um, uh, at the time Hurricane Katrina um, and various different uh, relief trips throughout the nation. So um, these are some things that are really organized by our community. And I think uh, what makes us unique at Geneseo is our community that the community atmosphere that we offer. With that being said, I'm moving on, I guess, to our uh, study abroad program. Um, we, I, I think everyone should take part in study abroad, but uh, something at Geneseo is that we actually really encourage our students to study abroad. Um, within SUNY, SUNY is a great uh, uh, institution where through the SUNY system, you can actually study abroad with, uh, in more than 65 countries with, to more than 1,000 different programs um, throughout the SUNY system. Um, so for example, when I, well, I'll talk about myself a little later, but um, within our school, 450 Geneseo students study abroad annually, and that kind of uh, represents a good percentage of our graduates. So around 40% of our graduates uh, have studied abroad, which actually makes us um, one of the higher number, uh, one of the schools with high number of participation of students, sorry, students participating within study abroad. Um, that's nearly half the graduating class, and that's something that we really encourage here at Geneseo. Um, we also have a variety of different programs, short term, semester long programs are available. Um, I, as far as like my experience goes, I studied abroad in Argentina. Um, these are just some pictures of myself. Uh, I, I looked quite young back then, but um, I went to Argentina. I went through a SUNY New Pulses program, but uh, I still had a great experience um, as you can see here. Uh, so. Uh, enjoying a semester long program was something that I really wanted and something that Genesee really encouraged me to do. Uh, with that being said, I guess we're kind of closing out a little bit and I uh, want to talk about our admissions information, um, how to apply to us and some of our different profiles. So um, for the class of 2022, uh, and these are usually around the same ballpark for, for students coming in, our average GPA was between a 90 to a 95. Um, our average SAT score between an 1170 and a 1300, and our average ACT score between a 24 to 28. These are just the number, the numerical statistics that we have at Geneseo. Um, when you apply to the school, uh, you can either apply through the SUNY application, the Common application, or the Coalition application. Um, to us, it just comes in the same, so um, we really don't mind which one you would rather, uh, rather do, whatever is easiest for you and your family. Uh, we also require at least one letter of recommendation, um, preferably two, and most of your school should probably really, I, th I believe, encourage that as well. Um, we would also need your transcript, uh, your essay, a list of your extracurricular activities, um, as well as a parent statement, which is optional. And I put that, I put that in there because um, it's something that is unique to Geneseo. It offers uh, an opportunity for your parents to 
be active in the application process and write something nice about you if they have anything nice to say about you, which I'm sure they do. Um, some of our deadlines are for early decision, which is, no, which is November 15th, and our regular decision date is January 1st. Um, you guys may have noticed uh, on the test scores, I put a question mark uh, to uh, four test scores. Um, given the circumstances that we're in, I think um, we are. We put in a petition uh, to see or a pro proposal to see if we can go test optional. Nothing has been formalized yet, but um, I just wanted to let you guys know for Student Geneseo, this is something that um, we have proposed. So, uh, for those of you guys who have not taken your standardized test and may have may be nervous about what the fall looks and will be in well, what is in store for the fall, um, I just want to let you guys know to take heart. Um, with that being said, um, I just wanted to show a video about why, um, what are, why some students choose to go to Geneseo, and this is a good, um, good one to highlight. I'm here to tell you some of the many reasons why students choose to come to Geneseo. Some come for the strong academics, some come for the friendly atmosphere, and some even come for our beautiful sunsets. But every student has their own reason why Geneseo is so special to them. Geneseo helped me find the family that I needed. <laughs> I came to Geneseo to get a great education at the same time play the sport I love. I really wanted to be somewhere that was out of my comfort zone because I'm from the city and this definitely isn't too much of a city and I learned to appreciate it. Main Street is so close to campus and the pizza is great. When I was a student at Geneseo, I started my company, Five North Chocolates, and it was this community that truly pushed me to be a successful entrepreneur. I chose to be a knight because of the school spirit. <laughs> you may have heard a rumor that we get a lot of snow here at Geneseo, but I'm here to tell you that, well, yeah, that's true. At least it's pretty. <sighs> I came for the research, and I stayed because it blew my mind. There's so many clubs and late night events, there's just always something going on around campus. So it's somewhere you can go and know that your voice will be heard and there's people to help you when you have questions, but I think it's also somewhere that's going to challenge you and it's gonna push you and it's going to enrich your life. As soon as I came on campus, I felt warm, it felt welcoming, um, it felt like a place I could really call home. I love the people I've met at Geneseo and just the community I found here. I know they're going to be with me for the rest of my life. Even when I leave Geneseo, I know that Geneseo will never leave me. Students come to Geneseo for a lot of reasons, but that's why they stay, because Geneseo has become their home. And we hope that you decide to make Geneseo your home too. Um, with that being said, I just want to bring uh, Kelly back on to kind of talk about why she chose Geneseo. Uh, so Kelly, hey. take it away. Hey everybody. So um, a lot of times when people ask me why I chose Geneseo, it's, uh, it's not just one direct answer, like because it had this or because it had that. It's really because um, to me, Geneseo felt right. I felt that when I was at Geneseo, I didn't feel like I just blended into the crowd and I was just another statistic. I really felt like I stood out and I had my own place there. And with that being said, it wasn't just within the social life, it was in my academic life as well. It was with the entire community. And I'm from Long Island, so it's a bit of a hike to get up there, um, but it's all worth it when you know you're in the right place. And I uh, genuinely feel that I am, and I have a, a twin brother. And so to have a twin brother for 18 years and then to be separated and going to different colleges, it's very daunting. However, when you're in a place that you can still call home, it's um, extremely settling to know that um, you're in the right place. So thank you, everybody. Thanks, Kelly. And Kelly's uh, actually going to be signing off. So. Um, thank you so much. Um, with that being said, uh, I just want to open this time up for 
questions. Um, Suzanne will actually hopefully be uh, leading this. She's, she sees all your questions below, but please um, continue to ask questions in the chat box. I think that would be really um, helpful for us. This is kind of the uh, end of the presentation. I think I'm not going to college anymore. Suzanne's not going to college anymore. Um, and you guys are. So um, if possible, just throw some questions below. Ask a good question. Um, just wanted to, I'd like to throw memes in there once in a while. So hopefully uh, you guys can ask some good questions. So um, Suzanne, we'll, we'll take it away. Okay, hi guys. Yep, I just needed to unmute myself. Yeah, I've been uh, furiously typing in the Q and A um, area. So um, I'm going to read out some of the questions that I think apply to a lot of you. Um, somebody asked about if we are if we're going to be having summer visits. Uh, we have to kind of wait and see what the governor and the SUNY Chancellor has to say about the reopening of our campuses. Uh, where we are in the Finger Lakes region, we're already in phase one of reopening. So that's good news for uh, Geneseo and the surrounding areas. But we have to um, make sure that our staff and students and visitors are safe. So just keep checking our website to see what kinds of accommodations. In the meantime, we have some wonderful virtual programming. So I encourage you to go to our website, our admissions website, click on virtual programming, you fill out a short form and then you have access to all kinds of virtual tours and webinars and all kinds of great stuff that uh, it's not quite like visiting our beautiful campus, but it's the, the next best thing. Um, let's see what other questions. Uh, are, we allowed, are we allowed to have cars on campus? Yes, uh, students are uh, allowed to um, have cars on campus all four years. So the answer to that is yes. Um, what's the regular decision deadline? Our regular decision deadline is this year was January 1st. But um, things can always change. If there's one thing about the college admissions process, information can always change from year to year. So be sure to double check that deadline when you start your application process. For deadlines, I also have uh, brought the slides to the admissions information. So if you guys needed to, uh, you guys can take a look. The deadlines are on the right hand side. Uh, early decision, November the 15th and regular decision, January 1st. Um, here's a, an important question that I'm very glad that um, somebody brought up, and that is, I heard the library was closed down. Is there somewhere else students go instead for help and studies? Okay, I, I would like to clear the air about this. Our library building, our current library building, is closed for renovation. However, all of our library services and resources are being moved to another building. Um, SUNY Geneseo got a $35 million grant from New York State to renovate our library, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, so, and, but it's a huge top to bottom renovation that will take a few years. So um, we absolutely will be having all of our award-winning library services still available to our students and and staff and faculty, all of our staff. They all still have jobs. They're all still there to help with your research and uh, resources. And um, the college subscribes to thousands of online resources that you don't really even need a library building to access. Uh, and the actual physical materials you'll have, so our students will have access to them for the next few years. And there's always been a campus culture for um, students finding empty classrooms to study in. Uh, I think, Victor, I think it was you who laughed when you heard that it was closed because you used to always find classrooms to study in when you were a student. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. So as a student at Geneseo, even uh, if you needed a quiet place to study, you know, the library had a quiet section. But um, I always found an empty room uh, at Geneseo. And one of our policies is that uh, once there is no class, uh, you can actually go into this empty room and uh, study. You can occupy it with your friends or monopolize it and uh, hold the room hostage just for yourself. So um, you have a lot of different options for, for study areas. Um, and because of the library building 
uh, closed for being closed for renovation, we've actually designated more study areas now around campus. So um, real estate is is uh, a plenty here at Geneseo if you're looking for a place to study uh, outside of your you know dorm or on your on your bed. Right. And there's even a, um, a Geneseo uh, Village Public Library that's walking distance from campus as well. So students have sometimes gone there. So there's really not a problem. Um, it, it's it's this, absolutely we've compensated for, for that. Um, Okay, uh, I'm just trying to be mindful of time because there are a lot of questions. So I'm going to go kind of fast. Uh, are there merit scholarships offered and does Geneseo have an honors program? We do have limited merit scholarships. Just to reiterate a couple of things that Victor has already talked about, we have the highest percentage of full-time faculty of any SUNY school. The majority of our uh, budget goes to faculty salaries and and we really believe that that's money well spent. You will have you know, people leading you and teaching you who are dedicated to Geneseo, who are um, dedicated to you as students, uh, not only for your academic development, but your personal development as well. Um, so, and, but we do have some, some, this year our merit scholarship ranged, ranged, ranged from about $1,500 to $3,000 a year. So not a ton of money. Um, and we do have uh, an honors program. It's called our Edgar Fellows Honors Program. You do have to apply for it. That program has some nice perks. There are some smaller seminar style classes that Edgar Fellow students take that are, you have to take one per semester. The, those students actually have a minor in the Edgar Fellows Honors Program and uh, there's special housing for first year students as well as an additional $2,000 scholarship. So uh, that is a, a nice, a very nice program. Um, but again, that and the students who are admitted to that honors program, we have an average GPA, very strong GPA of at least around a 95 with lots of honors and AP classes and uh, AP, I'm sorry, um, SAT scores, average G, the average SAT score of a 1450, average ACT of a 32. Um, so that's how it stood uh, this year. Okay. Uh, do students receive help, guidance with choosing classes, creating the schedule and need for their major? Absolutely. We have our Dean of Academic Affairs and, I'm sorry, Academic um, Affairs and, and, uh, and Advising. Those folks are there to help you, especially if you're undecided. We also have through our career center, uh, we have um, all kinds of, uh, of uh, personality tests and interest inventories and um, the, uh, so just help you see where your interests and your skills intersect. Um, and professors, you guys, wherever you go to college, whether it's Geneseo or somewhere else, take advantage of your professor's office hours because they are crucial in helping to guide you. Because uh, professors also help you, you know, maybe see possibilities of careers within certain majors. Maybe you can get involved in some research uh, in your um, areas of interest. So yes, if there's one thing that sets Geneseo apart from a lot of other schools is, are the, the relationships that students develop with their professors. So in addition to that professional academic advisors, you have your professors as your allies. Okay, so uh, what type of dorms does Geneseo have? Traditional, et cetera. We, yeah, traditional, we have um, a lot of our build, buildings are what's called corridor style where they, you have your, um, long hallway with double rooms on lining the halls and bathrooms, hall bathrooms at the end of the hall. We also have suite style where there's anywhere from four to eight students living in a suite with a common area and shared uh, full bathrooms, as well as we have townhouses, which are more apartment style living. Housing's guaranteed all four years required for the first two. So if you choose to move off campus, you can your junior year, we also have wonderful living and learning uh, communities that where you can live with like-minded students. Um, 
Okay, is there a dance team? Yes, there's a dance team and all different kinds of ensembles. I encourage you to go to our website, not only to the dance academic um, department, uh, but also if you go to our directory of student um, organizations, you will see that there's so many different dance groups to get involved in. Um, I've been on campus um, for live dance performances where in our beautiful theater, two to two and a half hours of dance groups, one after the other performing. And uh, the, definitely dance is alive and well at Geneseo. Um, we already answered the honors program question. Is there a breakdown of the cost? Also, can you receive full scholarships? Um, SUNY, uh, Geneseo is, as a SUNY school, is uh, we have the same tuition as just about all of the four-year SUNYs uh, for next year. Our to the, the tuition is seven thousand two hundred and oh my goodness, it's seven thousand two hundred dollars. I think something something around that. I'm blanking on it. Uh, and then housing and meal plan and all that um, brings it up to about twenty three thousand dollars. And then you've got uh, indirect costs like transportation and books and fees and all that. The the Full cost is about $26,000. Full scholarships we really don't have, but I encourage you to look into need-based financial aid. We only require what's called the FAFSA, which is the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. Lots of information on our website about financial aid. Um, can we speak about the athletics program and being a student? We are division three in many, many sports. The sports are alive and well at Geneseo. We've got um, really strong teams. So many of our teams won their division this year. Um, and uh, our men's ice hockey team, they were ranked number two in the country and uh, were on their way to the NCAA tournament where they were actually favored to win the whole thing when it was canceled. So. Um, definitely lots and lots of, uh, of spirit. Um, only going to be able to get to a few more questions, but uh, coffee shops on campus. Yes, we've got uh, Starbucks right on campus, as well as several great places to grab coffee on Main Street. Uh, Greek life, we have about 20, 20 to 25% of our students are involved in Greek life, so it's there if you want it. If you don't, 70% are doing something else. Um, and STEM offerings. Yes, we, uh, we, our, uh, we don't have computer science at Geneseo. Uh, so I'm gonna put that out there right there. Our engineering is more of a 3-2 program where we, uh, you would come to Geneseo and major in physics for three years and then move on to a school of engineering for, your, for two years. And so then after five years, you actually have two degrees, one from Geneseo and one from the cooperative engineering school. And right now students tend to go to Case Western Reserve, Clarkson University or Columbia University for those last two years. We have probably one of the best physics departments in the country, not in this, not just the SUNY system, not just in New York State, but in the country. We have a particle accelerator uh, on campus. We have electron microscopes. We have a planetarium. Um, we have a phenomenal, phenomenal physics department. So I don't get discouraged by us not having engineering. Really, really look into that. Um, we uh, okay. We do not have I, early. Oh, I, I guess we probably have to. Um, uh, cut off. So Victor, go take it away. No. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. We can oh. keep going. But oh. I was just wanting to show you guys that on the screen, I have a list of all the academic majors. Uh, so on the, so if you are looking at STEM, you can find your major. It's all in alphabetical order. So if you guys are looking at the screen right now, you're able to see that right. Uh, uh, and again, I encourage you guys to screenshot this page. Yeah. Yeah. Sciences Geneseo are incredible. I mean, they really, really are incredible. Um, we're really well known for sciences, for business, for um, education, for the you know, liberal arts. The, the, you really, it'd be hard pressed to find a program that's not super strong. Um, I think we have time for one more question and then we'll uh, end the presentation. So okay. Take it away. Okay, let me see. And on a good note, Suzanne. Yes, I want to find a, a question. Um, 
Uh, can people join music activities without being in the major? Absolutely. We have a wonderful music department. Our department of music is an intense department. It's audition based uh, for most of the programs, uh, but you don't have to be a music major. There are so many different ensembles, several acapella groups. Um, we love to keep the arts alive on campus. So for sure. Uh, and I'm sorry I didn't get to um, your, the rest of your questions, but Victor's going to tell you how to uh, get in touch with us and to then you know, get your questions answered. Yes. So, uh, sorry, I'm going to scroll back. Um, so, go to this. Okay, so these are our minions today. Um, uh, I am Victor. Uh, I'm in the middle. Suzanne is to the left of in the picture and Kelly uh, is our student extraordinaire today. So she was able to, uh, and she's also willing to answer any questions. So um, just as uh, for you guys to know, uh, we are currently as far as like uh, population of students that we reach to, uh, I work with New York City students. Suzanne works on Long Island uh, for Long Island students. Um, but if you guys want to feel free to send us an email uh, and then we can connect you to the admissions counselor um, that is designated to your area. Uh, we have the admissions counselor for every county in New York State as well as out of state. So feel free um, to do that. Uh, Kelly uh, has so nicely volunteered uh, to answer any of your current student questions also. Um, I've listed her major and her minor. So she majors in uh, communication and she minors in environmental studies. Kelly's also from Long Island. Um, so if anyone uh, really has any questions about being a uh, Long Island student going to Geneseo, um, she's also willing to answer those questions as well. Um, so with that being said, uh, I'm going to keep this on. You can, you can screenshot this if you'd like, maybe without the picture if you don't, unless you want to use it um, uh, as a contact picture. But uh, this is our contact information. Again, uh, feel free to let us know if you have any more questions, uh, send us our way. Um, I, we have also uh, added our work numbers. Our work numbers are actually attached to our office cell phone number. So during this time, uh, feel free to text or call uh, that number. That way, um, if it's easier for you, uh, we can get in contact with you that way. Um, but with that being said, I just really appreciate the time uh, that you've taken uh, out of your day to be with us today. Um, Geneseo, really, there's no place like here, and um, I really, as a student, as well as someone who uh, works at Geneseo, I think it is a fantastic opportunity, and hopefully through the pictures, except for this one, um, you can see how beautiful our campus is, and we wish that you were able to come onto campus to see it for yourself. Um, hopefully, with all this, uh, uh, if restrictions get lifted, um, I, would, I would highly, highly, highly encourage you uh, to come onto campus. Um, so feel free, I'm gonna keep this screen up and feel free to uh, uh, contact us and let us know. Um, but for now, we just really appreciate that uh, you are here today. So I'll turn, I'll t we will be turning this off at 3.45. And best of luck to you guys. Please don't be shy. We're really, really nice. We didn't get to all your questions. So feel free to reach out to us, send us emails, text us, call us. I, I put in the chat the link to, um, the, uh, not the chat, the uh, uh, Q&A, the link to the admissions counselors page so you can see who is in your, who your admissions counselor is or just shoot us an email and we can let you know. 